morning, mister. Sir? I am not a sir. Not yet, at least. One has to give these things time. The name is Quist. I'm sorry. No need to be. The name was entirely my father's fault. Well, Mr. Quest. Quist. Desmond Quist. Welcome to... Sit down, please. My office, which you seem to be making your office as well. Should I know you? Hmm. If you did, I'd be out of a job. However, due to the unusual nature of my current assignment, I must reveal more of myself to you than my own mother knows. Um, well, perhaps someone else should be in the room with us before you do that. Oh, any more boxes? Oh, no, that's all for now, thank you. Would you please close the door behind you? Sublime. Now, I wondered if you could repeat that same action from outside this room. Oh, it's a brain teaser, isn't it? Mm, no. For that, we would first require a brain, wouldn't we? Please leave and tell the others we are not to be bothered. About what? It's all right, Mr. Eldridge. I'll deal with this. I ride the trolley to work every day, and I'm used to dealing with discourteous strangers. All right. Be careful, sir. I'll bet he's a bobcat when she's angry. Now, listen. These papers will tell you as much as you'll need to know about me. Have you heard of British intelligence? I've heard of it, but at the moment, I think it's been vastly overrated. Read on. Desmond Quist, counterintelligence for His Majesty's government. And the signature on this personal note should mean a lot to the authoress of Jed Jenner, G-Man. Well, I can hardly make it out. It's clearly a woman's handwriting. Jennifer... <laughs> That's J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> a woman's handwriting. Oh, well, boy, do I feel foolish. Um, so this means, what, that you're a British spy? Counter-spy currently in the generous employ of your government to unearth Axis worms who are burrowing their way into the very heartland of America even as I speak and you listen. Quest, your experiment is a total success. No one will ever hear secret messages on this station because you've made this station a secret. I just told the half a million people who might be listening to us that, that Hillary and I would personally prepare dinner for the next person who calls the station. No one has called. Of course, I'd like to blame that on Hillary's cooking. You've eliminated our scripts, our music, and our effects. At this point, our listeners are on equal footing with people who don't own radio. Steady on. You'll be happy to know the experiment is over. And a little side experiment of my own should be reaching its conclusion by this time tomorrow. Okay. See you next week. And I want to hear Rock of Ages sounding solid as a... Desmond. Eugene. I thought we could go to a lovely little place called Finlandia. The owners are some friends. Yuji. We've, um, we've grown very close these last few days, haven't we? Well, well, yes, Desmond. I'd, um, I'd like to reveal the truth about myself to you. Oh, yes. I wondered if you were going to tell me. I'm not British. I'm an American. And uh, a Nazi sympathizer. I was hoping you might be sympathetic to my side of the story. Maybe even join me in my efforts. Oh, Desmond. That's so... untrue. You're Desmond Quist, the British spy. How do you know that? I was chatting this morning with some of my German friends. You know, about our dates. If you want to call them that. I mentioned your name. They knew it right away. I'm afraid you're a bit of a joke to them. Not a very funny one. Really, Desmond, you're in the wrong country. I see. You'd rather I apply my trade in Germany? Oh, yes. You'd uh, have me be a traitor. Another Jonathan Arnold. No, I wish you were in Germany so you could help some Germans who want to get out. So many of them are abandoning their lives, their homes, their professions to start all over again here. 
simply because their religion or politics don't meet with Hitler's approval. So instead of helping out, my friends tell me you poke around over here, interfering in their new lives, finding acts of sabotage in every accidental fire, uncovering make-believe Nazis under every bed. Or behind every world, sir. Eugenia, unless the pirates rally against the giants, we're going to have some airtime that we need you to plug up. Please don't ask Miss Bremer to plug anything. You'll notice she's holding a gun. What? Oh, no, this is Mr. Foley's sound effect a gun. Oh, I hate these things. <laughs> Betty, I thought I might move into sound effects and back up Mr. Foley since my organ playing is banned. It is not banned, Eugenia. I realize that you work with the government, Mr. Quist, but a person is innocent until proven guilty. And I can spot a witch hunt when I see one, Desi. But this lady is a bona fide angel. Eugenia, now you don't have to answer this, but Mr. Quist has some questions about your loyalties. He should. Oh, Betty, I'm a traitor. Aha! Uh -huh. To all of you and to the station. There's a big opera festival next week, a network broadcast. Sure, we've heard of it. Mabel announced it on the air. My teacher, Meister Feldenstein, conducted Lohengrin in a ceremony in honor of Hitler in 1936, before Hitler knew that the Meister was Jewish. He got me a chance to perform some arias in this concert. Well, Eugenia, how wonderful! You on a network radio station? But, Betty, the networks are the enemy. Oh, I think it would be great publicity for one of our brightest stars. Wait, what was all that about, about let the day be devoted to death and W-E-N-N, ich in Kampf? W-E-N-N means if in German. Wenn ich in Kampf, let the day be devoted... Their lyrics. From Lohengrin, Tristan and Isolde, I have to learn them phonetically. I don't speak any German except for Ja and Danke. And the charwoman complains, your message from the huge wolf? German art songs by Hugo Wolf. You knew I was spying on this station and, and you were willing to dine with me again this evening. Kept you from causing any real trouble, didn't it? And it made me feel like a Matahari, a woman of mystery. Not too bad for an organ teacher from Altoona. You're much more than that, Yuji. Can you forgive me for being suspicious of you? I can try. But if you call me Yuji one more time, I'll deck you. I think we're going back on the air. Eugenia, any objection to giving this station a jump on the networks? Oh, I just love the idea. 